Right guys, in this video we're going to talk about Pac-Man Frog, the care, the diet and the tank setup. Pac-Man Frog is a nickname for a species of horn frog. It's called a Pac-Man Frog because half of the Pac-Man Frog's body is a mouth, just like Pac-Man. The males, they tend to get to around about 4 inches wide, the females 7 to 8 inches wide. They're not a widely handleable species simply because they absorb all the nutrients through their own skin. So they'll also absorb all your oils on your hands, all the dirt on your hands, the germs, and that's not good for your Pac-Man frog. In the vivarium, you'll need a hygrometer and a thermometer. The temperature should range between 75 and 85 degrees. And the humidity should be around 75 to 80 degrees. Substrate in your Pac-Man frog's vivarium should be about 2 inches deep. Should be moist cocoa fibre just so they can burrow down and make their little dens. That's where they sit and wait for their prey. Pac-Man Frog, they are sit and wait predators. They just sit in their little dens and just wait for prey to pass. As soon as the prey passes, bang, they jump up and get them. The Pac-Man Frog, they need a shallow water dish inside their vivarium just so they can jump in there and rehydrate all the time. The water has to be clean, dechlorinated water. Um, if you do use dirty water or tap water, it can lead to infection in your frogs. So let's get on to the food. I feed my Pac-Man frog three times a week. It gets fed on locusts, roaches, crickets, Morio worms, anything like that as a staple. Every now and then, he likes a pinky mouse as a treat. Pinky mice are only treats because they are low in nutrition and high in fat. Twice a week, I dust with various calcium powders and nutrients. I dust all of my feeder insects, my feeder bugs, everything in calcium twice a week you can do a live planted bioactive vivarium however just make sure your plants are sturdy and they are strong because Pac-Man frog they're bulldozers and the debated subject of UVB in your Pac-Man frog's enclosure is a big debated subject I don't use it however if you did fancy using it feel free use a 2% and no more just for their sensitive skin so if you have enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Any questions, drop them in the comment section below and I shall see you all next time.